you know, if you look at the floor space consumption, the operating cost, you know, and the basically simplicity of the system, that's the only reason that we went into powder coat. Every other time that we looked at this in the past, we could never make it work from, from one of those standpoints. Um, and if we hadn't if we hadn't looked at the Vulcan infrared system, we still would be wet coating right now. Um, it is the biggest benefit. The, the quality, the, the completeness of cure, um, you know, the, again, the durability of the coating uh, has improved significantly over the water-based coatings we were using before. Uh, we eliminated a lot of, uh, or virtually all of the damage, freight damage, uh, due to rubbing of product um, and, you know, scuffing of the finish that we was, has historically plagued our company before, uh, where they rubbed together in a truck you know, we'd, we'd rub the, the water-based paint right off of it. Uh, we also had some customers complain that when they tried to wash the product down, the water-based coating came off. Um, the, the, and that's really a statement more of the, of the benefits of powder coating, you know, more so than the benefits of the oven. Much, much easier. Um, you know, the, the, right now, the powder system, you put a new box of powder in. And again, we, we chose a, a, a box feeding system as opposed to a canister feeding system. So. The box feeder allows us to put a new box of powder on, blow out all the lines, and basically switch over colors in a couple of minutes when it would have taken us probably 30 minutes before for, due to the wet coating. So you have to flush out all the lines and change the paint and mix it. So there was a huge uh, difference in uh, our ability to change colors. Now it's, it's much, much easier. There's just no, there's no comparison to the, the past evaluations from a convection oven standpoint to the infrared. The estimate for a convection system with the conveyor was probably in excess of 2,000 square feet of consumption of floor space required. Uh, when we were able to do the same thing in a 36 foot long by 10 foot wide, um, so 360 square feet of floor space. Exactly the same floor space that we had used uh, on our on our wet coating line. They're easy to, because they're you know we've got in 12 sections of oven. Each you know each of the six sections is is the left and right half. Um, you know we were able to once we, we were able to move them around in the plant just using a pallet jack, so they were light enough to move around, um, and it also allowed us to build the infrared oven around our existing. Um, conveyor line. So we didn't need to take the conveyor line out, put the oven in, and then reinstall the conveyor line the way that the modular nature of the, of the oven. It was really, a, I mean, it really was a very simple installation. The, the technology of the oven allowed us to tailor our operating costs uh, to exactly fit our, our product. So so we basically start for with a 100% with capacity available on the oven and our line speed and we can ramp down and zone the oven so that it cures the product without wasting any energy. And I think that's one of the biggest drivers that allowed us to operate at about a 25% reduction in operating cost over the original estimates. So right now, again, we're probably running at a $7 operating cost per hour uh, for gas consumption, uh, as opposed to the $9 an hour, which was Vulcan's estimate for the operating cost. Seven to 10 minutes cure time. Uh, and that's, that's given us a good cure. The, the oven pads are running around 900 degrees, and we bring the product up to temperature probably within the first six or eight feet of oven, and then the rest of the time is basically the cure. We just so we start with our, our curing profile is is high intensity, 100% on all the pads in the beginning part of the oven, and then once the product is up to temperature, by the time it reaches the middle of the oven, we probably ramp down to probably 75%. And we probably ramp down further towards the end of the oven to about 30 percent. We zone not only you know over the length of the oven, but we also zone top to bottom because our products are, are more mass intensive at the bottom of them. So we run typically a higher like five or ten points higher on the bottom pads than we do on the top pad. When we start, we're probably 100 percent on uh, on all on all pads. And as we get moved through it, we'll probably reduce the top ones to like 60 and the bottom ones to 80. And then as we move through, we're probably everything at, at probably uh, like 30 and 50. If we hadn't looked at the Vulcan infrared system, we still would be wet coating right now.